Aaron Henning. I'm a fisheries biologist with the Susquehanna River Basin Commission. We're at Wisthicken Creek today doing an electrofishing survey for the EPA for part of their National Rivers and Streams monitoring project. Last summer and this summer, all over the country, almost 2,000 streams were surveyed using an identical protocol. Um, we're here at the Wisthicken Creek doing a fish survey. We're going to shock about 800 meters of stream. Um, use electricity to stun the fish. And we net them, put them in our live well, and stop here actually to uh, assess the health condition, uh, take a length measurement on them, and just basically see what kind of fish are in the stream. We put a small amount of very controlled electricity into the water, and um, we have a cathode and anode, so there's an electrical field that is created between those two, and any fish that's caught in there will be momentarily stunned, and we can net it real quick, and then we throw it into a live well with an aerator, and as soon as they're out of the electrical field, they write themselves and they're, and they're fine. I've got um, a couple big American eels. We just stopped and processed. So you're, you were a couple minutes away from seeing about 100 fish, but I've got uh, two in a mesh bag I'm going to grab. I'll bring right back. Hey, <laughs> you didn't be falling on video. They paid good money for that. I'll open it up and let you look in. I'm not going to take them out because they're incredibly difficult to hang on to. The two American eels, they're catadromous species, spawn in the ocean, live in fresh water. So these guys will live in the creek for 20 years and then head back out to the ocean to spawn. A lot of this data we just collect and it gets sent off to the EPA and they generate a big report that they can, since it's a nationwide survey, they can draw inferences about all the streams across the country so they'll do a report to congress saying you know x percent of the streams are in this condition or attaining this life use and then um, these will take a couple they might be eels or if we get some other big game fish we'll take a tissue plug for it and they'll send that out for contaminant analysis so they can look for um, mercury pcbs and you know any other contaminants that might be in fish tissue We've seen a lot of sunfish. We've got smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, bluegill, pumpkin seed, red breast sunfish, green sunfish, American eel, tessellated darters, um, some banded killifish, um, a couple different shiner species, spot tail shiners. Born in the spring. <laughs> 